I've got a few questions on 955. Uh, that is the uh, 401A plan for uh, people not in PERS. Uh, first, in that resolution, it says implement, implying that it's starting July 1, 14. I, I seem to remember this as before. Is that just wrong? I mean, is this, an, is this a new plan, or is this another, just an ongoing for prior years? Um, also on that, uh, it's 121000 and I'm not sure what that's for. Like, is that the contribution for the year? Is that the... Is that the fee to Mutual of America? Uh, what is that 121 paying for? And then how many people are in that plan? I mean, who specifically is covered under this other 401A plan that's not covered, that's not covered in PERS? And uh, I, I presume there's a valuation report until July 114 where this number came from. I mean, if that's available, you know, I'd like to review that. Uh, because I'm assuming if, if, you, if this is for PERS benefits, PERS is a defined benefit plan. And ironically, um, FITS ratings just came out today. Uh, New Jersey had a bond offering, and they had to report the real funded ratio of the state plan. Uh, that funded ratio for all the plans in the state has is 32.6%. Uh, which is pathetic when you consider their employee contributions included in that is basically a Ponzi scheme. So that's the PERS plan. Um, and it'd be ironic if this plan that was set up for people not in PERS was actually well funded. So I'm just curious about the funded ratio of this plan, if it is a defined benefit. Uh, so that's just a whole bunch of general questions on that. Uh, this, is, this plan is not a new plan. It's, it's ongoing. And I believe uh, the memory service me, which I hope it does, it's about 20 years at least, 20, 25 years we've had it. Uh, without it, these are those individuals within government that without having uh, this in place, they effectively could work here and leave without any type of a retire retirement benefit whatsoever because they're not eligible for PERS based on the funding uh, of their salaries. There are 21 people that are left in this plan. It reduces every year. It's $46,000 and some change less than it was the previous year. And that's the result of people leaving and people coming off of it and going into the regular current system. Um, I'm, I don't know how I can address a Ponzi scheme or anything like that, but I believe that's sufficient information for what you need. Thank you. Thank you.